Hey, everybody. Welcome to JSA TV, your newsroom for data center and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya here at JSA. And joining me today, really excited, we have Andy Bax, the Chief Operating Officer of Edge Uno. Welcome, Andy. Hey, Jamie. Thanks a lot. Great to see you. And, Great to uh, see to you. Spend some time. Yay. We're excited. So, viewers, for those of you who don't know, and you probably do, of course, Edge Uno leading provider of infrastructure as a service in Latin America and emerging markets. Andy, you joined the team as chief operating officer back in March, right? Um, so what drew you to Edge Uno's mission? I think um, you know, we've we've been a we've been an industry that's been very much focused on just pure connectivity for years and years. You know, building cables. I've been involved in building cables and building networks and all about building connectivity, but at a at a kind of high level, high level connectivity perspective. And you know, the more and more I I looked around and saw what was going on in the industry and saw where different segments were going, I wanted to be involved in something that was um, more relevant, more relevant in terms of end user experience, and can actually. You know, you, you can kind of go home at the end of the night and go, well, I, I feel like I'm making a difference. We feel like we're making a difference with what we're doing. And that's really what Eduno's story is all about. It's about bringing, you know, specifically in Latin America, but other emerging markets too. It's bringing that that user experience that, that you and I take for granted, for example, in the US or in Europe or elsewhere, and bringing that to markets where they don't get that today. They don't. They just don't get that user experience, that end user experience. And no, we're not. We're not building out to everybody's home. We're not building out to every office, but we're bringing content applications, access to you know the rest of the world, so much closer to those people. So um, that's what drew me to it. It was it was the the relevance of their of their mission and the relevance of what they're trying to do um, over the next few years combined with what they've already done in a very short period of time they've been around they've grown you know exponentially over the last four or four and a half years since they since they really got going so that was that was the exciting bit for me was seeing somebody that's growing making a difference and doing things differently doing things differently which at the end of the day is is, is what makes this whole industry that we're in so much more exciting when you can do things a little different and make a difference for folks so that's what that's what drew me to Edge Uno. Um, in addition to some of the smartest and best people I've ever met in our industry, in terms of what they do, they're amazing, amazing yeah. people. Unfortunately, all a lot younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I should say, fortunately, a lot younger than me. Mm -hmm. um, but no, amazing group of people, really are very talented. So happy to be here and excited. And talk about making a difference, you know, getting those emerging markets access to the rest of the world, as you say. How meaningful. I love this. Love the story of Eduno. Um, also, your growth, not just organic. Uh, you had the acquisition of new access. What should our viewers know about this strategic acquisition? So this is this is really exciting for us. So today we we you know, we already we we have a presence in Ecuador today as a Juno. Um uh, but the acquisition of, of new access, it, it does a couple of things for us. One, it, it brings us some very uh, strategic and important um, data center assets in that country, mm. which, which is valuable for us. Um, there's some really nice synergies in terms of the the organization, the products, but also it brings us into a market. Uh, we, we have been predominantly wholesale based to date, wholesale and not hyperscale, but you know, hyperscale like customers. Um, new access brings us some really interesting new products that we can now take across the region that gets us into the you know medium to large enterprise business environment too. So it's really exciting for us. Again, fantastic people. Um, let's, we've met we've met them all already. We're, we're already doing integration work with them. Um, some really good folks there. Really exciting business there. It's a good business just in Ecuador. Um, but it's going to be really exciting to see how we roll those products out across the rest of our footprint, not just Latin America, but other markets too. So yeah, yeah. it's a, it's a good one. It's a good one. I love that complimentary markets, but also more of that people power that you guys are known for. I love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Um, okay. And also other recent news from Ed, you know, I want to make sure I get your take on this. You're now supplying quad nine with servers and network connectivity in several locations throughout Latin America. 
Can you tell us a little bit more about that partnership with Quad9 and particularly their DNS security service? Yeah, so this is, again, This when we talk about making that difference, right, and bringing, bringing that same user experience to the entire region, not, not just the main markets. You know, people a lot of times talk about Latin America and we think about Sao Paulo, we think about Buenos Aires. We don't really think about very much outside of that when, when you talk to most folks about South America. It's a huge market. It's a massive market. Um, and folks like Quad9, you know, we, we did a lot of work with them up front, and then we, we rolled out a, a significant project with them all across the region where prior to getting involved with us, they would serve, um, you know, DNS services to their user base in Latin America, from either Miami and in some cases even Europe. So they were seeing, you know, latencies for their service up around the 100, 110 millisecond at best, and in some cases way worse than that. Um our network throughout the entire region, our average latency to an end user, to somebody sitting like you and I in our office right now, is between 10 and 15 milliseconds. So we took it down, you know, tenfold. Uh, their average time went down to 11 milliseconds from just over 100. So from a pure service, not, not just to ex existing customers, but um, to their or existing users, but but to their future users and prospective users and people they want to bring onto their onto their platform, that's a huge difference. It makes a huge difference to them. But again, it's just it's comparable with what you know the rest of the developed world. Because Latin America, it's a develop. It's it's not developing anymore. It's developed now as a market, and and so we're just bringing parity to to the region in terms of how we develop services. And the reason we you know, we we communicated that that partnership we did with with Quad Nine was because that's a really good example of what of what we can do when we partner with really good people too. Um, but yeah, that the main focus for them was reach and latency, and that's that's exactly what we delivered in terms of that project um, to the point now where they're they're deploying it in some of our other emerging markets like Turkey and maybe other places in the future. So oh, exciting, nice. exciting. Yeah. Well, guys, that's just a tip of the iceberg, as they say, in terms of the success stories and the news that Eduno's team have been creating and, and uh, rocking. Um, so, Andy, where can our viewers go to learn more about Eduno? So online, absolutely anywhere. You can find us on the website, eduno.com. You can find us on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok. We have some really cool stuff on there. Um, and of course, we're at, we're at major events throughout the region and, and also globally as well, but uh, absolutely everywhere. All you got to do is search for a Juno. You'll find us all over the place. Um, oh, I'm so checking out TikTok for you guys. That's, that sounds go. really fun. Um, yep. You guys heard it, edunode.com and any social media platform you can think of. Thank you so much, Andy. Always a pleasure. Thank you for your time and insight today. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. As always, happy networking.